If you need to do a steady state analysis, uh, you go to the animation view, uh, select uh, the settings window, you set the log interval time to, for example, 60 minutes, and set the time to a quite long time. So let's set it to uh, 50 days. Oh, yeah, like that. Uh, we set it for 10 replications and run the simulation. Then we have to wait quite a long time in order it to finish. And now it has finished one replication and it is on the second replication. And soon it will finish the second replication. When doing the steady state analysis, we will use the graph window. And um, I guess that you have watched that, less, that demonstration already. And then we just went through the different uh, uh, the different graphs, the average and uh, um, the individual settings of each graph. But now we will use the steady state graphs. There is a moving average and replication analysis. So now it's finalized. We will go to the graph window and select throughput. As you can see here, uh, in order to determine the steady state, when the simulation model gets in a stable state, uh, since what I mean with the stable state is that when the production line um, in a factory, for example, each Monday morning, there is probably products in the line. But when you run a simulation model, it's empty. So in order to get in the same state that uh, the simulation model is filled with products, so it's in a stable state that it's representable for um, each Monday morning, for example, then you need to make this analysis. And our task is to determine at which point the simulation model enters this steady state. So if you look at the re different replications of throughput per hour, it's really hard to determine when the simulation models enter a stable state. If we look at the average result, we can see that, yeah, it seems to be about around here, maybe around 25 hours or so. It's hard to tell, but maybe. And that's why we need the moving average. The moving average means that when it's set to zero, this value here will actually be that value. Uh, each value here is uh, the average value of 10 replications. But when using a moving average, set it to 1, the curve gets smooth, smoother. And um, the reason for that is that each point, for example, point 27, is an average between 26, 27, and 28. So um, when set it to 2, it will be even smoother. So set this to a value until this, this graphs get smooth. So for example, here. This seems to be enough in a way. So let's set, say that 30 is enough for determining the steady state. So the simulation model seems to enter the steady state at somewhere uh, hour 45 or somewhere around that value. And what you do then is that you select the warm-up time and set this in your simulation model to 45 hours at least.